All righty. That way, hopefully, um, if we don't have any technical difficulties like we did last month, we can record this and then have it on YouTube later. So if you weren't able to join us, you can join in later or you can listen to the story that I'm going to read again later on. So before we get started, welcome everybody. I am Miss Erin. I'm the Education Director at the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art. If you haven't been there before, please come by. It is so cool. Today's project and story and theme was all picked out based on one of the pieces of artwork that's currently on display at the museum. The museum is open, so as long as you wear your mask, you can come on in and check out the artwork. I am gonna share my screen so that you can see today's artwork that we based our class on. This piece right here, it is by an artist named Stan Wiederspan. And I know it looks like just a pile of boxes, but it's actually a painting. It's incredible. In person, it looks like the little flaps on the corners of the boxes, it looks like you can touch them. And at the very bottom, I don't know if you can see the very, very bottom of the painting, there's like a black stripe across the bottom where it looks like it's the edge of a table and the boxes are kind of pouring off of the edge of that table. That looks like it's three dimensional. When you see it in person, it's really hard not to touch it because it looks like it should be bumpy. It's not, it's totally flat. So if you come by in person and check it out, you will be amazed. This piece that Stan painted, the title of it is just a number. So it's called 080405. And I don't know why. <laughs> so based on Stan's incredible cardboard box artwork, I thought today we would make cardboard box artwork but we could turn real cardboard boxes into artwork instead of trying to paint them so realistically like Stan does, because I'm sure that it took him a while to do that. Our class doesn't last that long. <laughs> so today I thought I would choose um, one story to read while we get started. And then as you guys are working on your boxes, I found out bunch more boxes about card or sorry I found a bunch more books about cardboard boxes so I thought we would start with my favorite I don't know if any of you have seen this book before not a box Miss Laura loves this book <laughs> this is such a fun book if you haven't seen it before I recommend you check it out from the library this is called Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. I hope I'm saying her name right. If she's French, it'll be it'll sound differently, but that's how I'm going to say it today. Not a box. Ready? To children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. Are you sitting in your cardboard box? <laughs> Why are you sitting in a cardboard box? It's not a box. Do you see what it is? Miss Lara's driving her box car. What are you doing she loves on in a cardboard of that box? It's not a box. It's a mountain. <laughs> Why are you squirting a box? Oh, what do you think it is in this picture? Ready? <gasps> it's not a box. I said it's not a box. He's pretending it's a big building and he's a firefighter. Now, 
You're wearing a box? What? What could this one be? Hmm. Oh, this is not a box. <laughs> Are you still standing around in that box? Wonder what this one is. Mm. It's not, 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 not a box. Look at this one. Is that a hot air balloon maybe? What about this one? It looks like the crow's nest of a pirate ship. What about that? That's not a box. It's a ship. <gasps> what about this one? Oh, that one's really cool. He's riding on top of an elephant. So cool. Well, what is it then? What do you think that one's going to be? Hmm. Hmm. We're thinking, what is it then? It's my not a box. What? It's a rocket ship. <laughs> the end. Yay. Now, here's the fun part. Hopefully you have a box for your project today. If you don't, that's okay. You can color, you can doodle, you can just watch. We are going to get started on our cardboard box projects. So like I said, I picked a big box. But if you have a little box from maybe a box of soap or a long skinny box from a toothbrush or a little box like this big from something that you may have ordered online and it came in a box. Whatever kind of box you have, it's perfect. And you can use whatever art stuff you have around the house. I was saying earlier, I have markers. I have lots of different kinds of tape. I have regular scissors, but I also have a box cutter. If you're using one of these, like I said before, please be careful. They are very, very sharp. And if you have one, I recommend having the grown up do the cutting with this because I don't want you to cut anything that's not a box, like your fingers. But if you have paint, if you have um, sticky notes or regular paper that you've drawn on, stickers, anything you can imagine. Ooh, Miss Laura has stickers, you lucky ducky. Anything you want, you can use it to turn your box into not a box, whatever you can imagine. Now, while you guys are working, I have a couple more books. Are you ready for this? So you can listen and you can look up at the screen whenever you want to so you can see the book, but keep working on your project. And when we're done, I'll let everybody show off what they've created. Are you ready? Okay, so my next book is called Boxitechs, like architects, but with boxes. It is kind of a cool story and I think it could be a real story box of text. It's very shiny. Hopefully you can see it. By Kim Smith. Meg was a box of text. She loved to make things out of boxes. Ooh, she has a lot of boxes. If you have more than one box, you can use more than one box for your project. That would be really cool. 
She loved making tiny houses, tall towers, and twisty tunnels. And she made marvelous things no one had ever seen before. Ooh, that looks super cool. Meg was proud of her work. She could make boxes into anything. Meg's mother was proud too. She thought Meg was brilliant and creative. So Meg's mother sent Meg to maker school where she could be even more brilliant and creative. At maker school, there were blanketeers, spaghetti techs, tin foilers, and egg cartoneers. There was almost any kind of maker you could imagine, but Meg was the class's first box detect, and that made her feel special. See, there's Meg, and there's all the other makers. Lots of stuff going on in that room. School Meg learned all about box architecture. She learned how to make her structural structures useful, strong, and beautiful. Meg loved everything about maker school. It seems like a really fun place. Until Simone showed up. Like Meg, Simone was new. She was also brilliant and creative. Worst of all, Simone was a box attack too. And she was already making things Meg had never dreamed of. Oh, there they are. Wow, that is a big plane she made out of boxes. In class, Simone would point out ways Meg could make her constructions a little lighter, more wind resistant, and less boring. Hmm. So Meg told Simone she should build things that were less bumpy sturdier and much prettier. Mm. I don't know if that's something that she wanted to hear. On the last day of school, the class's annual maker match was held to see who could make the most amazing thing. There was just one rule, you had to work as a team. But Meg didn't want to work with anyone, and neither did Simone. The blanketeers built with blankets and pillows. The spaghetti texts built with pasta and glue. There they are. The bakeologists built with cake and frosting. Ooh, that sounds tasty. But the box texts were not building at all. Mm. They were arguing. See that? Mm. I want to make a tree house, Meg said. No, I want to make a ship, Simone insisted. Meg drew a line down the middle of a very large box. I'll take this half. You can have the other. Fine, said Simone. Soon, Meg noticed that her tree house wasn't as large as Simone's ship, so she made her side taller and more impressive. When Simone noticed that Meg's treehouse was taller than her ship, she made her side higher and more extraordinary. Uh-oh, do you see a problem coming? Mm-mm, oh boy. Slowly, Meg and Simone's creation grew bigger and bigger. 
They both built and built until there wasn't a single box left. And at last, oh boy, that is really getting very, very big.